Sunday morning to you guys. So it's about 10.40, and uh, I've been a busy gal this morning. We had decided already last week we were going to play hooky from church this week, so we did that. <laughs> and I got up this morning and edited a video. I uploaded a video, uploaded a vlog, uploaded a video. <laughs> anyway, and then I got ready and I filmed a couple videos. And then I ran to the store. I needed a couple of things. I'm making, um, I decided to freeze the other pound cakes for now, the other pieces of the pound cake, and uh, that I showed you guys in the last vlog, and make something called pretzel salad to take to the, the um, choir party tomorrow. So this is part of it. This is pretzels, butter, and cheese. No, there, there's no cheese. Pretzel, butter, and sugar. Goodness. And then... Um, then you cream, I'll show you the, the recipe in a minute, but you cream together some um, cream cheese and sugar, and then you fold in some crushed pineapple and 12 ounces, which is what this is, of Cool Whip, which is thawing currently. Because I think, I think Cool Whip used to come in a 12 ounce container, because this is an old like church cookbook recipe. So, let me see if I can get it over here without the glare. This is, the recipe right here in case you're curious. It is always a crowd pleaser. My friend Kim always makes this. And um, hopefully that's like focusing. She always makes it and brings it to like potlucks for, for um, work. And it's always a huge hit. So you let these pretzels cool and then you break it up into pieces. And then you fold those in just before you're gonna serve it. So I'll fold it in tomorrow just before we leave. Just making sure it's looking like it's supposed to here. And, um, but what, what's happening right now is I'm letting, the, I just got back from the store a little bit ago, so I'm letting the cream cheese um, soften up a little bit there. I'm letting the Cool Whip thaw out. And I'm going to edit another video. Bobby's taking a little snooze. And yeah, that's not, not a lot going on this today, this, this morning so far. Um, we are leaving about noon. So I didn't start my laundry yet. I'm gonna work on that later. We're leaving about um, noon to go to. Hold on. I was sticking my can in the recycling bag because that goes out to Tuesday, I guess, instead of Wednesday. And we're leaving about noon to go to the Ethan's graduation. And I think we might go to a movie tonight. Other than that, we don't have too many plans. Aside from me getting caught up with some YouTube stuff. So myself some of that um seltzer what what was it called sparkling water that i'm working through i only have a couple cans left it might be growing on me a little bit i'm not really sure <laughs> but anyway i'm going to have some of that while i edit a video and let's go all right so it's 12 20 and what temperature is it sir 94 degrees <laughs> this is just ridiculous um, I, I, I mean, I joke about it being so cold and stuff, and I joke about what we, you know, complain about being so cold here, but I don't know how people live where this is normal. No. I, I couldn't do it. And it's not even all of, all that humid. Normally when we get hot like this, it's also humid and so it's relatively unbearable. It's, I should, I'll look and see, I don't know what the dew point is currently. It's up there, but it's not as humid as it normally is when it's this hot. But my point being, I don't know, I really don't know how people deal with this. <laughs> we wouldn't we would not deal well we are not hot weather people so um, <laughs> we are on our way to um, our nephew Ethan's graduation and we don't know if it's gonna be in the gym or in the auditorium my hope is the auditorium but I'm fairly certain it'll be in the gym so that I mean I'm certain the school's air-conditioned but it's still gonna be a lot of people in the gym um, in bleachers, so we'll see how it goes. But I just thought I would do a little check-in. You have anything to say, Mr. Game? No, oh, I'm running. You're running? No. <laughs> Your mouth? No. Not usually. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> how about you be nice to me? No. No? It is beautiful, though, to look outside. Everything is finely green. No. The sky is blue. Just a few clouds. So, yeah. Anyway, we just thought we would do a quick little check-in while we were headed over to the falls. Yep. Yep. Yes. Falls. 
Oh God, balls. We are hopefully going to go to a movie. What time? We, we don't know how long this is going to be, so we haven't decided which movie we're going to go to until we get back and see which one is playing closest to when we get back. Um, Life of the Party is the one I really want to see, but that plays at four, and the chances of us hitting that, the graduate, or yeah, the graduation doesn't even start until two. Um, we are meeting with all of them at one o'clock at the house, and then going over. So that one, um, Deadpool two, which I really want to see, and then um, Solo, the Han Solo movie, is also playing. So one of those three is what we're going to see, but we'll report back. All right, so I realized, I think I have one picture to send. It was a, pictures were a little bit of a chaos situation there. Um, so the, the graduation, I was, we were prepared for it to be really hot and it was nice and cool in that, in that gym. It was very nice. It was a, a nice ceremony and we're really, really proud of Ethan. Oh, I have, oh, I have to try to see if I can, no, I do have some on my phone. So I actually have to, just one selfie quick that I took with Bob and I and Ethan. And then I have a couple of him in this, in the ceremony that I'll stick in that you will have already seen probably. So, um, we are going to go to see Deadpool 2. And I wanted to tell you, by the way, um, that, no, I'm showing you because there's really nothing to show you. Still no action. And currently the duck is MIA. Now, one of my subscribers left me a message that she's ducks that do this every year at her house. And um, that, interestingly enough, the dad um, will come every night, I guess, and take her for water. We have no idea where they're going for water because there's nothing really close to here at all. But they go like to a body of water. Anyway, so that's where she disappears to every night. She disappears with her husband of sorts, I guess. So anyway, um, we are just going to head out here in a minute um, to see the movie. And so this will probably be the last check-in for today. Fur. Just drop them off. I washed my towels that I used. You know what? I should just keep all three of these in here. Um, so I was putting one back so that I wasn't without. All right. I'm going to go and I will see you guys in the morning. Wait, I got to tell you guys, this camera takes a look and it keeps on ticking. I just dropped this camera again on the tile floor and it just turned back on. Anyway, um, so it's about quarter to eight. It's about quarter to eight, some Monday morning, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to those of you in the States. Um, I just want to take a minute to thank, um, if you have any family members that served, thank them for their service. Thank you for your service. If you have served, if you had a spouse that served or something like that, thank you as well. Um, the sacrifice isn't just the, the person that, that serves, it's the family as well. So I am a... Uh, Proud daughter of a Navy man. My dad was in the Navy. So let's try to, I try to make sure that we remember that today. Fortunately, I'll get to see my dad at the choir party. So I'm not, I, I, what I'm doing here is dusting. Um, Bob went in to work just for a couple hours. He had to do some paperwork. So he went in for a couple hours and uh, um, he, you guys know he does the house cleaning, but usually the first weekend of the month, I will do it. <laughs> um, Bob does a he does a nice job, but he doesn't like move things around. You know, that's his version of cleaning is just dust, which you can see vacuum. We can, you know what I mean? He doesn't move things around. So, um, I will once, at least once a month. No, not at least once a month. I generally don't do it more than that. Uh, I will dust and then I move everything around, lift things up, you know, that sort of thing. And I'm super appreciative of the fact that he does it weekly because especially with all my travel, I just wouldn't be able to get it done. So Anyway, boy, it looks like it was windy last night because the straw that's supposed to be in the garden, you guys see that, has ventured over the rocks and into the other, into the grass seed. All that that you see out there is just grass seed. Anyway, it's raining, which is less than delightful as far as the fact that we're going to be having our picnic today, our choir picnic. It is at, at, some, at our, the, our pastor's house. So I'm sure we'll probably end up inside, which is a good thing, because otherwise it's going to be humid and, whew, mosquito -y. 
But anyway, I thought I would do a quick check-in, and I'm going to get back to finishing my dusting. I was listening to a podcast while I'm doing that, so decided I would do a check-in, and I will see you guys later. Alrighty, <clears throat> it's about 9.30. I dusted the whole house, and I've deep cleaned our master bathroom. I'm going to do our guest bathroom here in a little bit, but so I check on the deck. Still no babies. I know. Some of you can't stand the fact that I keep doing this, and some of you love it. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, oh, shoot. I just remembered it. I asked Bob to grab me a gift certificate from the store for my dad's birthday, and I bet he did not do that. Oh, well. I'm eating some dry cereal. I think I'm going to do a live. Look at this one. <laughs> Did you uh, get that gift? the Cleveland Cavaliers are advanced to the NBA finals. Yep, I heard that this morning. Um, did you get that gift certificate for us for Dad today? At Qualheims? No. Okay. Are you going to give him one of those bottle tours? Nope, that's for his father's day. Remember, oh. you were going to get him the Qualheims gift certificate for his birthday. It's humid out here, huh? It's muggy now, yeah. We figured. The rain was great. We needed yeah. it. It really made things muggy. Yep. We didn't really need the rain. But yeah, I knew as soon as I woke up and saw that it was raining today, I was like, whew. Um, that face is. <laughs> I handle, for the record, for our family, both sides, I handle everything the gifts. I get make sure there are cards, you know, I handle everything. I asked him to do one thing. <laughs> oh well. Um, we'll just go get it, get it before the party. I, the, his, my dad's birthday is Wednesday on the real Memorial Day, the 30th. And he, um, oh, I know what that is. There's a sign out on the road there that's like shows you your speed when you're going by. Anyway, um, and I won't see him because I'll be in Canada, so we wanted to give it to him today at the choir party. Anyway, I'm going to grab my coffee, and I think I'm going to go do a live if my iPad has enough charge. And if it doesn't, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I won't. But anyway, just, the, just thought I would let you know what's going on over here this morning, get some stuff done. I need to wash my makeup brushes, and I need to wash, um, and change the laundry for him. And I need to wash my, my, my travel and my actual ones, so I'm hoping to do that before we head off to the party, too. Well, hello. So I'm standing on what in a few weeks is going to be, the, this is the pad for where my outdoor storage shed's going to be. So I won't be able to film from here a couple weeks from now. But I just thought I'd give you all an update on the garden so far, what we have. So as you can see, it's a lot smaller than what I used to have. But for Kristen and I, it's plenty big enough, all right? So what I have here is some chives. I went over and worked up my friend Jack's garden for him because he used to turn it all over by hand, and I have my little tiller, so I took it over there and worked it up for him. And he gave me some chives in return that I brought home and transplanted. So I'll let them get seeded good and then clip them off, and we'll have chives to go with our salads and things. Um, I have my tomatoes planted. And in the cages over there, I have some, if you can see them, there's peppers in there. And then obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, but there's cucumber in there. And then the rest of the garden, you can already see there are some radishes coming up already. Okay, there's some radishes. But I have peas and lettuce and spinach. And it looks like the lettuce is starting to come up a little bit. You can just see it starting to sprout through. And then I have some sweet corn planted and beans and carrots in there so now the fun part is is just to wait to see if the stuff is going to grow up and i'm starting to see that the soil is wearing away from some of my my seeds so i might have to come out here tonight after it dries up a little bit later this afternoon and get that covered back up again so that they have a chance to sprout but but uh we'll keep you updated on the progress 
of things because now the fun part is waiting to see what's all going to come up and like I said I'm already starting to see radishes poke through and some of the lettuce is poking through so and tomatoes and everything obviously I bought those as plants and we just had a nice little rain I've been watering because we've got obviously you can see the landscaping Kristen's been keeping you posted on that I mean if you look close enough there's starting to be a hint of green coming through so I've been watering with our sprinkler system and uh, which means the garden gets watered every day too and uh, we'll keep you posted as the progress comes along here throughout the summer and hopefully we'll have vegetables to enjoy we're looking forward to it um, one of the things I am concerned about obviously is uh, the size of the garden is a lot smaller which means I compacted everything and planted it close together which should still be okay for the plants to grow but what I'm, my concern is is when it's time to harvest I hope I left myself enough room where I can get in there and and uh, I'm just gonna have to be careful and uh, we'll experiment this year see how things go and maybe make a few adjustments for next year okay all right so that's that's the garden update and we will keep you posted have a good day alrighty it's about quarter after 11 Bob went to get that gift certificate for me which was very nice of him so I washed I'll show you guys let me set this down I washed my brushes so Ugh, there was a lot there. I have, I moved them out of the bathroom because I wanted to finish cleaning the bathroom. So, that's my video camera. Those are the my brushes I use every day. These are my travel brushes, and this is like eye brushes, travel eye brushes. The other ones are my everyday eye brushes, and then this is a combination of my face brushes from both my travel pal or my travel kit, which is this, and my everyday kit. So. I need to pin these bangs back because they're driving me crazy and um, take some time on because I have a headache again. <clears throat> I really need to get to see the chiropractor, but it's not going to happen until I get home. I should see if I can get in on Friday. Maybe I can call tomorrow before I leave. But anyway, and then we're heading off to choir party. I may or may not vlog. I'm not really sure. Um, both of us are kind of tired and Sounds like Heidi, Jamie, and the girls are pretty tired as well. So I'm not sure exactly how long we will be there. We talked about going to see Life of the Party today too. Um, but neither of us being the Life of the Party currently, we may just come back and veg a little bit since I have a busy week and so to see. So anyway, I'm going to pin my hair up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Tuesday morning to you guys. I'm going to show you. I realize it's lame, but I'm pretty excited over the fact that you can tell there's grass growing currently. And uh, duck watch still happening here. No ducks, but what's funny is that her little behind's up in the air today. So I am leaving, well, <laughs> I think I am, for uh, Canada for three days. And I say I think because my flight's already been delayed. It's gorgeous, so I don't know. I'm assuming it has something to do with the flight coming in. But I don't know that I have a ton of footage for this vlog, but I'm going to go ahead and end it anyway. I'm leaving the camera here. Bob's in charge of Duck Watch. <laughs> and so he's going to vlog whatever he sees or doesn't see. He may vlog nothing. I have no idea. So the next vlog may be bits and pieces of me, because I'll, I'll use my phone to vlog, <coughs> excuse me, while I travel, while I'm traveling, if I vlog anything. Otherwise, we're going to leave this up to Bob to handle. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> so anyway, if this is a short one, I really have no idea. I'm just, I'm sitting down right now to edit the footage before I head off. Um, so if there's not a ton here, my apologies. I don't know, um, I, just, I just don't know what is on this camera, so I guess we're going to find out. I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.